Hello everyone and welcome back to Mosley Farm here in Stardew Valley and it is a beautiful winter morning, the first morning of winter and before we rush outside to see all of the gorgeous snow, let me go ahead and say good morning to my lovely wife Leia. Winter's here and that means crystal fruit is in season. It is such a unique flavor, don't you think? Ooh, I wonder if that means she likes crystal fruit. All right, good morning, Leia, kiss kiss. And then let's see how Rowan's doing. Oh, I can't believe my son is crawling, you guys. Look at him go, and he's very, um, very into his blocks. I wonder if he's gonna grow up and become a doctor. I'll be so proud. Well, I'll be proud no matter what you do, Rowan. All right, so let's see what we have. <gasps> guys, it's Krobus's birthday. Oh my gosh. I know a certain someone who definitely needs it's a fancy void egg for the day then but I cannot believe it is already winter of year two and it has almost been a real life year since I have last experienced winter in Stardew Valley so let's go ahead and see what the weather is going to be like a beautiful sunny day tomorrow the fortune teller says the spirits feel neutral today the day is in your hands <gasps> Perfect, whoops, and then let's see. All right, let's go ahead and see what living on the land has to say. Folks, take my advice. You're gonna need a nursery in your house before you can have kids. Baby needs a crib. <laughs> All right, well, Rowan, you be a good little kid. Leia, I will see you in just a little bit, and let's see. <gasps> It's so pretty! It's so pretty! I still have my giant pumpkin! It's so pretty! And I have my giant pumpkin! And you guys, look at the world! It's gorgeous! Oh, I haven't seen... I haven't seen a winter in Stardew Valley in so long! Look at all of this! Oh my goodness! All of my mushroom trees have become tree stumps! Look at how many tiny little mushrooms I have growing over here! Look at the forest I have to kind of clear away over the winter! This is amazing! This is amazing! Oh, my little ancient fruit- <gasps> What? I have some noodle doodles! I have- I have some little worms! Huh! Some coal! That was interesting! Alright, Roastone, you stay right here. I'm gonna check on the barn. Wow! It has been so long since I have seen winter in- in the- this world. It's just amazing! Well, let's go ahead and take care of our animals. And then today is Monday. Hmm, it's gonna take me a little while to get back into the flow of everything. All right, this one is a deer, so <laughs> I wasn't, okay, come on, let's pet the deer. Let's pet the goat. Okay, let's come over here. I think I got the milk from all of my goats last time. All right, pet my deer. The deer can actually find truffles, but I think they can only do that when they're outside, so I'm not sure what they're gonna do all winter. All right, milkweed has no milk right now. There we go. And I've got some large milks. Let's turn all of these into cheese because the goat cheese is actually what we specialize on this farm. And I think I'll save the small milk so that I can do some cooking with it. Whoops, and let's put the milker away. My heater is keeping everybody warm here. The deluxe barn is keeping everybody fed. And we might have a little bit of an opportunity for adventure today then. So that's gonna be exciting. And I wonder if I can clear away some more of the area. I was gonna build, I think I was gonna build it right here. Uh, a little museum, a little museum shed. So a tiny shed that I wanted to hire Leia to build. And then I was going to fill it with museum artifacts. And winter feels like the right time to work on those kinds of projects. All right, Rostone, let's go ahead and ride down here. Well, let's adventure a little bit and just see what's going on in town. It has been so long since I've seen everybody. And we can go and speak with the wizard and see what he wants in order to make a Junimo hut and see if we are prepared and ready for that obligation. So, oh, and Krobus! Oh, guys, let's go. Okay, we're almost to the wizard, but then we need to go back to Krobus and we need to see if we can get him his void egg for his birthday. Oh, I'm so happy. Hello, hello. And how are you doing today, sir? Ah, yes. I have seen many things about your future, young Siri. Well, I don't feel that young anymore, what with a, like, toddling son and a wife, but hey, that's okay. If I were to tell you, there could be grave consequences. That's all right, that's all right, Mr. Wizard. All right, so the Junimo hut will allow the Junimo to harvest crops around the hut for us. And I just think it'd be really fun to have them on our farm as a way of saying that we've got, like, a fantastic aura uh, on the farm and that we've got them uh, really happy with nature and the balance of nature is going well on our home. So we need 20,000, we need 100 fiber, and we need nine starfruit. So I'm going to need to work on gathering up those starfruit noted. 
All right, that's something we can work on with our greenhouse. And I wonder, I, I remember I was giving myself a big personal challenge to meet in order to get one of those like gigantic greenhouse mods. So I'm gonna have to think what that challenge was. Hello, cute little birdie. Run for it, little guy. All right, let's go get the void egg and let us go wish Krobus a happy birthday and start visiting with everybody in town. Being friends. Oh, look, there's another one of the noodle toodles on my farm. What you doing here, buddy? <gasps> a rusty spur? I haven't gotten that yet. Did we have like a wild west rancher or somebody who was grandpa like an old cowboy? What is going on here? Gunther can tell you more about this if you donate it to the museum. <gasps> you guys, you guys, let's go visit with Gunther and donate that to the museum and let's go over and let's visit Krobus and give him a birthday gift and we definitely need to go and while we're over visiting Gunther, let's crack open our geodes. Let's just do like a mass geode cracking open celebration to start off the winter season. That would be so much fun too. We also can actually make some winter crops with these crystal fruits and other things we can forge so that we can make our winter crops. There's ancient seeds, the wild seeds for winter. We need crystal fruits, snow yams, crocus, and winter roots. And I think that Leia actually really likes a lot of these. So I want to keep my wife happy, of course. So we can go ahead and make some uh, to give to her. I need to get more kegs downstairs because we could be making a ton of money and have more money than we will ever need if I had more kegs so that we could make even more of the um even more of the ancient fruit line so I probably need to get a ton of like oak trees and properly put a whole bunch of the tappers on them to get enough oak resin so oh man <laughs> I love how many projects there are. I love it. I love it. I love it. I'm so happy. I'm going to leave the rare crow here. Let's see. We've got some coal I can put away. Um, let's see. I've got my steel sword, my fishing rod. I don't know. Well, we should have enough room if I put some of these things away to go and crack open all of our geodes. But, oh, and let's check the cave just in case my bats, my awesome, <gasps> a whole orange. Good job, Fruit Vats. I'm so proud of you guys. Wow, an orange. That's so exciting. I don't know if they've ever brought me an orange before. All right, and then we'll come in here. Let's find a void egg. Meteor, thank you. I'm going to give this void egg to Krobus. He's going to love it. All right, and we'll give everybody a quick little pat. Hello, my feathered fluffs and scaly fluff or scaly scales. <laughs> All right, and then we'll put in some mayonnaise. Some simple little, we're gonna make some mayonnaise. There we go. I don't know what would happen if I put my beautiful, juicy, tangy, and bursting with a sweet summer aroma orange into my mayonnaise maker. So we're gonna try not to do that. All right, and eggs and more eggs and eggs and eggs. And a ton of mayonnaise. I think you can actually give mayonnaise away as a gift to like most people. So maybe I'll hold on to that. All right, and let's go inside and visit with my wonderful wife, Leia. I wonder if my coffee beans grew? Oh gosh, there's just way too much to do. All right, I'm just gonna have to dump a few things inside really quickly. There's so much to do, I am so excited. All right, all right, I, I told Leia I wouldn't do this anymore, but I'm gonna go ahead and just dump a whole bunch of this stuff right straight in here. Uh, and let's see, I don't think we need the salmon berries for anything, but they might make a good snack. Uh, yeah, like 45 energy. Not bad. Not bad. I'll leave the blueberries in here. I think the milk, like I was going to put up here. Cheese, milk. I wonder if mayonnaise... Can you cook with mayonnaise? I'll leave the mayonnaise in here just in case you can cook with it. And then the red mushroom we probably need to keep to actually make like certain special potions. So I'm going to leave the red mushroom in here. Salmon berry can stay in here. And everything else, I'll sell these things. And give the void egg to Krobus, and we'll crack open these geodes to celebrate the first day of winter. And the fact we found a rusty spur, which just leads me to think that my grandpa used to hang out with a whole bunch of cowboys, which is a really cool idea. All right, we'll grab these really quickly. And hopefully I will have enough room to crack open all of the geodes we have. So let's go ahead and crack open the geodes and give the rusty spur to Gunther first. Hey, Pam. Oh, a crocus. I wonder who would like the crocus the most. I can't remember off the top of my head. All right. And let's dig in his trash. Nothing there. Let's go say hello to Clint. Clint, my friend, it has been a long time. Let's crack these. Uh, let's do the, 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 um, the fire geodes first. And then we'll do the really fun omni geodes. <gasps> What's that? 
Oh, I need to make my museum. The best specimens resemble a desert rose. All right, so like the desert rose stuff. We've got some more stones. What is that? What? It's basalt. It forms near halt magma. I think we already have that. So it can go into my museum shed. Oh, yeah. I am so excited. I can't wait to build my museum shed. What's this? Oh, wow. Helvite. I think we've already got that one. That's so much fun. We've got some fire quartz. <gasps> look at how sparkly. Oh, look at that. Star shards. No one knows how these form. Some scientists claim that the microscopic structure displays unnatural regularity. Ooh, that's so much fun. And then there's just some clay. <laughs> that's okay. You can't have everything be like super duper fancy. All right, lemon stone, more stone stone. Oh, this is so much fun. I love geode cracking days. They just make me so happy. What is that? Oh my gosh, jet black crystal that is unusually reflective. Neptunite. This is so exciting. I just, I wish I had brought a snack to give to Cliff. Oh my gosh, what's this? Is this, oh my goodness, it's a dwarf gadget. <gasps> That's so cool. That's so much fun. I wish I had some emeralds to give to the dwarf. Look at this. Oh, I love these geodes. We've got tiger's eye. More clay, which you can use for stuff so it's not terribly not useful. Another desert rose. And we've got some more stone. Let's crack open the Omni geodes. Another desert rose. It is a desert rose kind of day. We've got some copper. What is that? What is that? Oh, oh it's limestone. And I was thinking like, is it fancy moonstone? Yes, all right, and we've got some iridium. I'm actually gonna have to see about upgrading my iridium stuff. I don't really have anything to offer him. And I don't think he would be very happy. I mean, I have a salad, but you know, Leia made that salad for me personally, so I'm gonna keep that. Uh, can I give him a field snack? I wonder if a field snack is a good gift. Hey, Clint, how are you doing? <sighs> Being allowed you're a farmer, Siri. It's nice to work outdoors than buy a hot furnace all day. Well, Clint, I don't know. It's like the middle of winter and I'm really sensitive to cold or in heat, actually. <laughs> I'm only a blacksmith because my father pushed me into it. You know, Clint, it'd be really cool if I could get him like an assistant or an apprentice of some kind and he could retire and take a job he actually enjoys. But let's go ahead and dig in this trash. Nothing there. And Gunther! Oh, look, it's Elliot! Let's go say hi to Elliot really quickly. How you doing, Elliot? Siri, you've trudged through the snow to visit me, and as you guys can see, if you happen to just be joining us in our fantastic Stardew Valley adventures, we happen to have Merman Elliot, who I found randomly on Tumblr one day. But Merman Elliot, I really love. It's the idea that he's actually like a merman, and that's why he's a little bit socially quirky, and why he lives by the beach, and he decorates his hair with seashells and has crabs that just like scuttle out of his pockets and help him turn pages. So yeah, here's Merman. And Elliot. I am honored. Well, actually, I was just stopping by to see how my absolutely fantastic- What is going on? <laughs> I had no idea that Sam would actually come work for the museum once you close down the mark. We closed down Jojo Mart, and so Sam's here now. Sam's on the clock. Better not get him in trouble. That is so funny. So he actually helps out at the museum. That is so cool. Okay, I think that everything we have on us, limestone, I see all of the other stuff. Is tiger's eye here? Uh, yeah, there's the tiger's eye. I think the only thing we, there's the star shards. The only things we can give to him this round, I think we have, yeah, we already have the basalt. We already have the dwarf gadget. Is this rusty spur artifact, which we can add to our big giant artifact pile right down here. I am so proud of how hard I've worked on the museum. Gathering the artifacts is like one of my favorite things to do. So maybe we can go up to Leia and we can ask her about actually, not Leia. Oh, I'm so sorry, Leia. I've been saying your name wrong the whole time. We can go up to Robin and we can see, actually, guys, I really love that idea. That idea that Leia and Robin might work together to design my museum shed. It makes so much sense because Robin works with wood. Leia works with wood. They're both kind of artisans in their own right. Maybe they could like work together to build my adorable little shed that I want to have in the forest that I can make into a museum. I really like that idea. All right, well, let's donate to the museum. We have the rusty spur, and I'm actually gonna put it right down there with all the other artifacts. And darn it, didn't get anything for that. 
It doesn't seem like you have anything to donate to the museum. Better get out there and do some treasure hunting, huh? Well, thank you, Gunther. Oh my gosh, it was so fun seeing Elliot. And I had no idea that Sam works at the museum now. Uh, that's really funny, actually. All right, and let's go up to... Let's go up to the mines. Hmm. Let's go up to the mines and see if we can just speak with Robin really quickly. Uh, I still need to go back down and give Krobus his birthday. I really hope I don't forget to give him his birthday egg. Because a birthday void egg would be awesome. Riding Rosestone. <gasps> I forgot how they're going to trip it out with all the little Christmas lights. I wish my house had Christmas lights. Hey, Robin. All right. Really quickly, we're going to talk about building me a shed real fast. Just to see where it could possibly go. All right. So as for where I would... Oh my gosh, it's huge. I don't remember the shed being so big. All right, so where I would want the shed? Um, I was thinking like right next to my chicken coop, but there's literally not enough room. So where am I going to build my cool museum shed for artifacts? Down here, like literally in the forest? Or what about like right over here, guys? Or actually like maybe right here? I think right here, kind of at the crossroads where you start entering the forest, but not affecting like all of this forest would be good. So now I need to clear all of these trees out <laughs> and I wanna build it right about there. And then I can put some of the like flower pot uh, plant things down and, or I could plant flowers there in the nicer weather like in the in the spring season spring summer and fall I can have flowers in front of my little museum and uh, now I just need to clear out a ton of trees so I can't build it yet darn it <laughs> All right, then we have the slime hutch, which we'll think about in the future. And I still need to make a new coop for my rabbit hutch, which is another thing I have been wanting to build for a while. But I want my museum shed more than my rabbit hutch right now. All right. Hey, Demetrius. I'm taking a break from my research right now. And then Robin. Hey, it's the perfect time of the year to gather wood. That's right. I'm about to clear out an entire forest so I can make room for my little museum. Let's say hi to Sebastian or Shane. I'm or Sebastian. <laughs> Shane was never in the running for being uh, my husband, actually. Nothing surprises me anymore. Nothing makes me laugh. Hmm. Yeah, I know. I'm being a little dramatic. I'm sorry, Sebastian. I wish I had more I could help him with. He needs like a really good, like happy D&D &D group to hang out with, if you ask me. All right, well, let's go give Krobus his birthday egg. And I have so many new artifacts to celebrate the start of winter. I'm so happy. That's going to be a lot of fun. And then Rosestone and I can work on a lot of mining this winter. Uh, she'll help me get to the mines versus actually helping me like, you know, take care of the mines. She is my horse. She cannot help me with the actual process of mining. But we'll have to work on some of that this winter too. That's going to be fun. I'm sure Leia and I can eventually come to an accord. <gasps> Look, it's little noodle doodles. Let's get those worms. Artifact. Artifact time. <gasps> Artifact time! I got a rusty spoon! Oh my gosh, another one! I can give my son another one, or I could go ahead and I could use it. Oh my gosh, there's another one! There's little worms everywhere! Ooh, mixed seeds. Maybe I'll plant that inside my greenhouse. I'm gonna have to figure out what I'm going to do for my greenhouse upgrade too. That's gonna be fun. All right, let's come talk to Krobus. And is he selling anything good? He still has that return scepter and that star drop that I should probably eat at some point. That return scepter would be amazing. But it's two, th two million, two million gold. I am going to have to wait a long time to be able to get that. But let's go ahead and give him his birthday void egg. Krobus, how do you do? You remembered my birthday. Thank you. This is great. I wonder if I had a perfect relationship with Krobus uh, before that. So let's check it out. Uh, let's see. Uh, Emily is locked. Let's see. Maru. I, uh, Kent. Kent I can build my relationship with. The dwarf I need to build my relationship with. Haley and Sandy. Penny. Uh, Penny who I turned down. That's why our relationship crashed and burned with her. I, I kind of, I'm kind of trying to get some distance from Penny. And then little Rowan who I cannot wait to give gifts to. That's going to be so much fun. But we're really popular in the town. We've done very well. I have made a wonderful home, a very happy home here in the valley. I have been happy and proud to make this my home. Oh, everyone's indoors during the winter so I can play guitar as loud as I want indoors i would think it'd be the opposite in the winter and here is a crocus 
and we can come and say hello to Maru. Look at how the town is decorated for the season. I love it. Hey, Maru. I love her long hair, too. And see, anything else to say? Hey, don't you think my snowman looks kind of like you? Amaru, I, I don't need any trouble. I am a happily married woman, please. Oh, I've had so much trouble convincing these people that I am happily married and to please ease up on the flirting. All right. Ooh, and that's a snow yam. Fantastic. All right, and there's Pam running by. We have a completed community center, so I like to imagine that Pam spends her time positively working in the community center during the day and not getting drunk at the bar. That would be a really great thing. And more newly worms! with more mixed seeds. Today was a fantastic artifact day. I'm actually really, really, really pleased with how many artifacts are out and about. And because there are no more, um, there's no more crops to really take care of till I get the winter crops up and going. Let's go over and we'll clear away the trees that I know I need to clear so that I can make my little museum. I think that's the perfect spot to put my museum to. Yeah, because there's not really anything going on over here. So I think this is the perfect location for it. All right, so let's go ahead and do this. It still leaves my forest so that we have a pristine forest to work with. And then we can work on other projects once I get my museum shed up and going. But I've been meaning to do that museum for ages. And then we can put some cute little decorations around it. I wonder if I can find some nice decorations for the winter that can go out there. All right, there we go. And we'll clear this away. It's so quiet in the winter though, oh my goodness. It'd almost be fun if once you had the Junimo, the Junimo that you'd be able to like have them play some music for you or something or just be really cute that way. All right, I need to clear away all these trees. I'm gonna clear away a ton of the trees in this area and then we'll replant some of these pine trees because I like keeping a thick forest on my farm. There we go, we'll do this. Watch out, Rosestone! Rosestone! Rosestone Timber! <laughs> okay, I'm glad you're okay, Rosestone. <laughs> She's sleeping. She's so okay. She's not worried at all about this. And then we might, because I wasn't able to really... Well, let's go check if I got any coffee beans. I wasn't really able to give Leia a gift today, so I might have to go and get one of her fancy driftwood pieces out of uh, the chest I keep hidden in her office and give her a gift for the day. It's important to let your, your spouse know that you love them. All right, let's go ahead. Hey, tree. Yay, guys, look at this. We've got plenty of room for artifacts. And I have an, a trunk absolutely overflowing with artifacts. This is fantastic. And then we can work on setting up the paths. I think by showing Leia that we're working hard at improving the area around our home, uh, that will that'll get me forgiven for uh, being able to run off and play in the mines now and then. All right, we'll gather up all of these mushrooms and let's check inside. Dun, 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 dun. I wish there was a flower that, whoa, whoa, a little dark in here, don't you think? Oh my gosh, all of my ancient fruit just popped up like a daisy. Oh dear, <laughs> I'm gonna need a little bit of room in here so I can actually harvest those. Oh boy, oh my. All right, well, we'll gather up all my ancient fruit really quickly. I have a whole bunch of cranberries, a whole bunch of blueberries, a whoops a daisy. There's a whole bunch of things I could sell. Let's get another chest out, actually. Uh, oh my, I don't even have enough room for that. Um, We're gonna throw the clay away and I'm gonna put down, you know what? We're way overdue for having another chest in this greenhouse, if you ask me. <laughs> and I'm just gonna throw some things in here casually. Uh, I'm sure, I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm sure I'll remember I have these in here. All right, I don't even have enough kegs to be able to put my ancient fruit in anyway. All right, we'll gather these. My coffee beans are not yet grown. We'll gather up all of these blueberries. I need to light up my greenhouse. I love it, guys. I actually love, 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 in case you can't tell as a running theme in my life, having so much to do all the time and especially being able to share the adventure of having so much to do with you guys. So let's gather up all of these. Here we go. Any strawberries? There's a couple strawberries. My inventory is now full. <laughs> so let's see. Uh, let's leave behind. I kind of could sell all of these actually. All right, I'm going to leave behind some of these things. There we go. The mixed seeds could stay in here. Might as well since it's winter. No, don't eat that strawberry. All right. Phew. 
I need to put some lights in this greenhouse because it's really tricky to come in at night and I'm probably going to be coming in at night a lot more often uh, because it's just winter and I will be spending a good majority of my time mining. <gasps> Is that oak resin? Roaststone! Roaststone scooch! All right, let's see. Let's sell all of those and the strawberry. Uh, and we'll keep this crocus. Gives you zero energy. I guess it's poisonous. Don't want to eat that. Maybe I should not give that to my son. That might be a bad idea. Let's grab that. Yes, oak resin! Fantastic. I can make a another keg. In fact, let's go ahead and make another keg. Oh my! And just now, all of the grape jelly suddenly came up at the same time. Uh, usually I, I have various fruits inside here to turn into jams. Let's see. And yep, I do indeed have enough blueberries to be able to make a whole bunch of blueberries. There we go. Now I have some mayonnaise to sell and give away as gifts. Oh my! <laughs> Guys, farm life keeps you busy. I hardly have one second before it's time to do like three other projects. All right. Well, thankfully, we've almost got the museum project done, which is going to make me so happy. And let's see. We want another keg, which means an iron bar and a copper bar. And I should copper. Oh, I'm out of iron. I'm out of iron. What? What? I need to go gather iron. <laughs> All right. Well, I won't be able to do that just yet. I'm going to leave the oak resin in here, I guess. I'm, I'm going to take it inside. I'm going to forget that it's out here. Uh, wow, I'm out of iron, guys. So we're going to have to go mining for iron in order to get a lot of these upgrades and things done. But what a busy time. I am so just delighted. I have just been kept on my toes one after another. I'm going to sell that mayonnaise just to make sure. Uh, but I've been kept on my toes one thing after another. And I think Leia's going to be asleep. Oh, she is, and I didn't have a chance to give her anything as a gift. That's that's not good wife behavior. That's not good good loving spouse behavior whatsoever. Now I have a whole bunch of those. Uh, more lemon stone. Do I have any of the other things in there? Uh, I do have some star shards and the doramite. I can't wait to build a whole bunch of the itty bitty little... Uh, oh, I think I'm saving for the furniture catalog. That's why I have so much money. So I can get as much furniture as I possibly ever could want to decorate my little museums. Now I remember. Ha <laughs> ha. Let's see. And I think I have like tons and tons of... Yeah, I have tons and tons and tons of artifacts. I have spots where I'm overflowing with artifacts where I don't even have room to stick anymore. Uh, so I definitely need to get my little museum up and going. And I think Leia would appreciate if I got the skeleton out of the house. <laughs> so that'll be something that goes inside of our museum for sure. All right. And we'll go ahead and get... Wow, I have a lot of oak resin actually. So actually, all I really need is copper, wood, and iron to build all of those kegs that we need to make all of the ancient fruit wine in the basement. Noted. All right. And I think uh, that's just empty. And then I've got some crocuses I can throw in here. And there's some crystal fruit wine. Just who doesn't have crystal fruit wine just lurking next to a biscotti bread, just French bread sitting inside of your house. Oh my gosh. All right. Time to go to bed. Time to go to bed. And we'll check in on that furniture catalog with Pierre tomorrow because I remembered that's actually what I was saving up my money for. So let's see if we got any money from the day's events. Dun, 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 dun. Ta da! 7,000 is not bad. And we'll have to check and see if we have enough fruit kegs up and going to get some ancient wine because we're going to have so much money when that goes through. And then let's see if anything happens in the night. Nope. All right. Well, I will see you guys next time for another fantastic, beautiful day here on Mossley Farm in Stardew Valley. Bye bye.